<clears throat> Hi everyone. Hi everyone, it's me, Anne from Anne Makes. Today I have a thrift store haul from Value Village. So I went to Value Village. I had not been there in a very long time as uh, I'm only starting to to get around now since my surgery. So yeah, I went to Value Village and I got a bunch of things and I was and I was pretty pleased with myself for what I found. So the first bag I'm showing you, the one it has a hole in it. And this bag was $6.99. So the stuff at Value Village I find is not as cheap uh, as it used to be. You have to really, really be careful because there are so many things that I was looking at that I was like, this is this is too expensive for, for being used. And I could buy something similar for less money and it would be brand new, so yeah. But this bag was $6.99 and I picked it up because I saw in there a full bottle of Noodler's Ink, three ounce Noodler's Ink. And the color is Liberty's Elysium and it's a nice blue. Now the thing about Noodler's Ink is that it is a waterproof ink. It is very nice to use in your uh, fountain pens and your dip pens for your drawing, sketching, uh, art, uh, art journaling, etc. that you may do. And the, the bag had a hole in it because I guess somebody had checked the bottle. So I checked it in the store and I saw that it was a full bottle of ink. So I knew that $6.99 for this was a good deal. Because a new bottle similar to this just on Amazon here in Canada is $28.99. So that's that's a good deal for me. Okay, so what else is in this bag? I don't know. There's this box. Uh, Heidi Swap Chipboard. It says C42 Pieces Lowercase. And I just got some ink on my finger again from before. So... It, the ink is waterproof, but it does wash off your hands. I was able to wash the ink from before off my hand. So let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just letters. It's chipboard. Okay. Chipboard letters, all lowercase, and see, and they're in this blue. Okay. So I, I'm assuming the whole alphabet is there. It says it's all lowercase. So they're just uh, basically chipboard letters. Heidi Swap. Okay. That's that's a neat find. Um, so yeah, Noodler's Ink. That's the one of the best deals of the day. Uh, there's also some tag maker rims from Making Memories. The large tag. And you need to have the tool, which I do. I do have the tool to make the these types of tags so that is fun there was also a box of already made tags uh, Avery I, I don't think it's a brand new box this is probably there's probably some missing there used to be oh it's still sealed oh the box is still sealed lucky me and there are 50 tags in here oh, that's a good deal too and then there's some more of the Making Memories tags to use with the Tag Maker tool uh, in Square. And, oh, there's a bunch of rings. That's one of the, that's a really big binder ring. That could be, like, used for a lot of things. And a whole bunch of smaller uh, binder rings. Great. Very useful. Uh, there's some, uh, I'm not sure if this is embossing powder. I think it is. I think this is embossing powder. And usually, yeah, that this looks like embossing powder. So great colors. Hopefully it's still good. 
And look at this. This was in here. A brand new box of tiny attacher refills. OMG. And the purchase price, I don't know when this was purchased. This is long. This is could have been years ago. It was $4.25, and that's in Canada. So for $6.99, I think I did very well on this bag. I think it was worth it. Okay. Uh, oh, I picked up this bag of, this is not a craft item, but Mark's Choice Root Waterers. I don't want to take them out of the bag because I'm going to go put this in my garage. And it is a, it, it's these pipes that you put in your plants so you can, the, the water reaches the roots of the plants. So I got a whole bunch of these in here. And this was $4.99. They're five inches long. Yeah, root waterer. That's what they're called. So there's a whole bunch in here. I didn't count them. Um, so yeah, I got that for the garden. Or for the house plants. You could use it for both. Another bag. Uh, this was $3.99. I debated whether I should take it or not because I do have a lot of ribbon, but there, there was something in here that caught my attention and I thought I should get it. As you can see, I'm careful when I remove the tags because I actually do repurpose these tags. I, I will use them as... Um, junk journal tags or other types of tags that will look have a vintage look i will tea dye them and ink them and you can take off these price tags they do come off fairly well i don't mind if it leaves a rough surface just adds to the vintagey look okay and i remove the staples because those do not go in the recycling the um, plastic bags do go in the recycling, but staples, no. So. Okay. Okay. So for $3.99, I got this bag of trims, a whole bunch of trims, ribbons. This is a brand new roll. It's brand new also. Oh, and the tape measure, this old tape measure. Yep. I wanted this. This one's a made in England and it is a fiberglass tape. It's a Dean fiberglass measuring tape made in England. And yeah, that's what attracted me to this bag with the imperial and metric measurements, inches and centimeters. And uh, yeah, I love vintage sewing items. So I was happy to get that. And there's a whole bunch of other ribbons here uh, that were wrapped on some uh, tongue depressors or and there's my cat. Kitty's here because I have a bag and Kitty wants to see what's in it. So, yeah, I got all these ribbons. Um, oh, this is even ribbon that was from a project. That's okay. All right, so that is my ribbon stash in here. There's some more ribbon. Oh, and this one. Oh, this is a um, gift wrapping ribbon. Um, yeah, plasticky type ribbon there, plasticky paper. Okay, so so that was three ninety nine. So it's okay, not bad for that. Okay. No, excuse me, kitty. Oh, my cat. Here. Move over, kitty. Excuse the cat. All right. 
This bag, $4.99. It has beads in it. You might say, and don't you have already enough beads? I do. I do have tons of beads. And again, I don't remember what it is that drew me to this bag. But I thought it was worth the purchase. So, oh, and everything's individually bagged. So it's nice. Where's a box of these beads, the type that we buy at Dollarama. So, and much. $4.99. So this was all for $4.99. It's a bit pricey, I find. Um, but I use a lot of these beads when I am doing my projects, especially my slow stitching projects lately. And there's also this box with the purples and some green. Okay. Oh, oh, and this is, oh yeah. These things, these are heavy. Uh, these are lead free so I believe they are metal they are handmade little hands they all say handmade and it's a great big bag of them great to put on items that you hand make and sell could have used this a long time ago when I had um, my own shop <laughs> okay uh, some silver beads oh these are pretty some nice, pretty little, very shiny metal, metallic like silver beads. It's a nice little container. And the two packages of ever so vintage, oh my goodness, Lewis Craft Toronto. Oh, these look like they were from macrame. Yeah, Marbella beads. They're plastic, but they are like faux marble. And this brown. I mean, look at the packaging. <laughs> uh, so that was uh, now for $3.99. I have this bag here of threads, basically, yarns and threads. And as you know, I do like sewing, other needle work crafts, so that's why I got this, and this is pretty old stuff, this is some vintage, vintage stash, oh my goodness, there's another thing inside, <laughs> I can't get, what's in here, there's another little thread in here, so there's a little bit of this nice thread in here, and this is uh, a mending floss, Mercerized Mending Floss, loose silk, two ends, two ply, made in the USA. It says 75 yards. The label's still on it, so um, it seems to be all there. So this is very nice. It's kind of a silky floss. Yeah, it's a mending floss, so this is great for... Uh, would be for like sock repairs and and such so that uh, and this here is oh there's a coupon in here that's too funny I can't there's <laughs> there's like ephemera in here that's so cool there's a vintage coupon in here okay so this is uh, an anchor Clark's it's by Clark's, uh, the Canadian Spool of Cotton. So it is Pearl Cotton, number five. Love the color. And it's the Ikru color, number 19. I see that inside. And inside there's a, a vintage coupon that was never used. So I got a little piece of ephemera here. Look at that. Little coupons for more thread. Oh, how cool. This is when the Canadian Spool Cotton Company was in Montreal, Quebec. Look at that. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. 
ました。So bonus, here's some more、um, mercerized darning thread. Some more shade 1997. So yeah. So again, this is for way back when people would darn their socks and hosiery and things like that. They took care of their things. So like it, these colors were very like you know these are neutral colors for, for socks.、Uh, a little bit of yarn. So yeah, and this is、uh, a sock weight, the thicker sock yarn for darning. Mending skein, yeah. So skeins of yarn for mending、uh, your yarn clothing. That's what it is, mending yarn. So yeah, this was just a, a stash of mending threads and yarns. If this video is more than 20 minutes, I will pause here because I have to up. I can't upload like more than half hour videos、uh, on my internet here. So、uh, stay tuned for part two.